Hey everybody, how you doing? Uh, I know there's been a lot of controversy over the uh, saddlebag latching mechanisms on the Honda NT700V and uh, most people claim that it's a very flimsy setup, a poor arrangement, they've had the saddlebags just fall open for no reason or another or can't get the lid closed or just can't get them to latch. I mean a lot of talk. Luckily for the first year and a half I've owned the bike I never had a problem so I really didn't get what everybody was talking about until the close of last summer and finally yes it did happen to me uh, I ended up having to pull the whole thing apart and I wish I had the video camera at the time I did because I could have shown everybody uh, what goes on behind the scenes and once you see it and understand it a little bit better it's not going to make the problem go away because it is a little bit of a flimsy arrangement however you could live with it a whole heck of a lot better once you know the ins and outs about it so I'm going to kind of give you a description about what goes on and hopefully this video will help you out too with uh, never letting that happen again. So uh, give it a watch and uh, let me know what you think. Alright, whether you currently own a Honda NT700V or if you're in the market to purchase one and you're a little wigged out about all the bad press that the uh, rear saddlebag latching mechanism is getting, I'm going to walk you through it very quickly and I'll tell you what the problem is. If you look on the rear grab rail you're going to see an integrated key port. You put your key in, give it a turn. Now what that does is unlocks the back end of the motorcycle, allows you to drop the two rear saddlebags and also remove the seat to gain accessibility under there. The way you drop your left or right saddlebags is on either side. If you look right below the grab rail near the rear reflector you're going to see a nicely integrated rear saddlebag latch opening lever. If you pull that open, your saddlebags are going to want to open right up on you. And it's as easy as that. Okay, once your saddlebag is open, I'll kind of show you what everybody's talking about regarding the flimsiness of this thing. The uh, latches that actually go into the latching mechanism aren't much to write home about. As you can see, it's just one continuous looped piece of steel with two screws holding it to the plastic cover and it's really not a heck of a lot going on there and then over here you have your lever that opens the seat and right alongside that is the receiving end of the latch that closes the uh, unit up and the same in the back you know it has like a little funnel shaped thing with a little latching mechanism almost like luggage and probably about as durable and up here you have your lever that we use to open it with a little red piece of tape on the top which lets you know that the latch is now in the open position and that won't hide away under your grab rail till the latches are closed and everything is secure and then it kind of closes and goes away on you but let's show you where it gets ugly all right first off there's a cable, looks kind of like a bicycle cable, that comes off of this lever which opens your saddlebags and attaches to the first latch, which is the rear one right here. That cable being there kind of gives this lever a little bit of play, a little bit of a lifeless feel, so yeah, I wasn't too crazy about that when I first got the bike, but you'll learn to live with it. But here's the big one. The actuation cable goes to the rear latch first. Now the rear latch and the front latch are absolutely identical and what they do is they connect the two together with a solid rod. So when you pull this lever out and it unlatches the back cable so the front latch unlatches simultaneously, the movement of that arm inside there connects to a solid rod which does the same motion for the front one over here. Now that's fine on the opening part. When you pull this out they both click open and they both drop. It's almost like if you have a briefcase or something and you click both levers at the same time to open the lid. But because that rod is solid and it links these two together so they work simultaneously, they also want to work simultaneously when you close the lid. So you'll notice there's a lot of flexibility about this lid. It's not really rigid, not very solid. If one happens to go in before the other one and that latch closes, it's going to pull the rod and close the other one even if this little 
uh, piece isn't bitten yet to go in. So that's where the problems start. If you have a lot of, what happened to me was I had a lot of stuff in the bag and I went to push it closed. And because the stuff was kind of pushing back on me a little bit, I got one latch to close and then the other one closed before the latch actually got in and wouldn't let it come in. Well, sometimes when that happens, it won't unlatch, it jams up on you. Or what some people will do, which is the biggest mistake, is you try and slam or hit the other one closed. Well, the latch is already closed. So all you're doing is pounding the thing in and bending stuff. Um, if you run into that situation where one is latched and the other isn't, some people said, oh, you could go in there and uh, reach in with a fine screwdriver or something and, and get it to unlatch. And yeah, you can. I went in with it with look like almost like a medical device, like with some dental hygienist would use to clean your teeth had a little hook at the end and I tried to do that but you got to be careful because there's a return spring in there that's just hanging on the edge of a lever next thing you know springs are flying and I got all irritated with it which, which is the reason why I took it out uh, had to take it apart rather so I guess what I'm getting at is the big key is since these two units have to unlatch and open simultaneously they have to close in the same manner the best way to go about it is don't ever slam it slamming it just makes things worse because it gives you the opportunity of one of these going in a little faster and harder than the other side when you have a bunch of stuff in be extremely careful but watch this if you close the lid and make sure the left and right is lined up at the same time so everything's level just give it a push and it's that easy. Um, I know it's more difficult when you got maybe a, you know, towels or a jacket or something folded up in there fighting you in the opposite direction, but that's the key of the whole thing. It'll open easily and it'll just close perfectly if you push it here and here at the latches equally. And I've never had a problem with it ever since. And I've done it a bazillion times. So that's the key to the whole thing just get it so it's don't don't manhandle it don't go crazy with it don't push one end harder than the other line your hands up on the opposite side of the latches put it in till you feel them both start to go in evenly and just give it one little extra shove and you're good to go it's a crazy setup little hack if you ask me but that's the way to live with it folks and uh hopefully that'll give you a little insight uh kind of solves the mystery of do I slam it do I talk dirty to it do I close it nicely what do I do to this thing because I, I'm getting sick of it falling open and breaking but that's it so hopefully that helps you guys out